Ninja in the Dark. I never did like this time of day, yet day after day it still came. I wished and wished for once it would stay, but at the end of every day the sun still went away. I would beg my parents with please, please just one more thing to eat, maybe one more glass of water to drink, wait, I think one more time I wish to brush my teeth. Anything to keep them around after the sun went down. As I got older, I felt trapped and bound. They wanted me to do more on my own now. That meant doing things that made my heart pound. It wasn't brushing my teeth. It wasn't using the bathroom or cleaning my feet. No, those weren't the things that were bothering me. But the thought of doing it alone made my heart and knees weak. I had to cross the dark to turn on the light. Everything in my heart and my head would fight. Something in my chest doesn't like this idea at night. Please don't yell at me if I stand here in fright. What if I can't find the switch? What if I think I know where it, where it is and I miss? What if some monster makes a hiss or a ninja num jumps out? Who knows what could happen with this? My dad assures me that nothing has changed. My mom says it's the same now as during the day. They tell me to take a breath and say, There is nothing there. It will all be okay. It takes me a while to start, reluctant and wishing to stay. Once I do run, says my heart, and I sprint all the way. The faster I go, the more things seem to move. I was in a panic and didn't know what to do. I couldn't find the switch and ran back through the room to my parents with my pounding heart needing to be soothed. They were calm and very reassuring. They told me everyone gets scared, that is a sure thing. They told me the scariest thing in that room was probably me. I don't know how I could be scary, I'm only three foot three. I take a deep breath, just like they told me. I didn't know why I had to do this alone. Couldn't I get help? I did ask, please. I guess dealing with fear is part of being grown. They told me this time to go slow. To take my time with the way I move, sneaky like a ninja on his toes. Extra, every step extra smooth. They told me to work on my ninja skills because hiding in the dark can be a thrill. Because while I may not be able to see as well, then whether I was there or not, nothing else could tell. I personally didn't feel like this was much help. It certainly wasn't fun to deal with all the fear that I felt. How could pretending and playing a game help in any way with all of this pain? The thought of going made me sick, but all the time I took another step and pretended to play the game. I went slow and paid attention. I saw scary shadows in the mirror reflection. I made my way to the switch without any detection and rose up waiting for something to jump out any second. I flipped the switch and screamed, my head filled with all these ideas I had dreamed which turned into a laugh when I looked at the scary things I'd seen. It was just all my toys, where they had always been. Still, I was scared of playing ninja might not work tomorrow night, but I hear if I keep trying to face my fear, then it might make it slightly easier to do it the next night. The end. What did you learn from this story about courage? Do you think having another person in the dark with you changes a dark room? Or, does that other person make you feel more brave when they're around? Being brave doesn't mean you do not have to be scared. It just means knowing you can do it even if you are. The story also showed a lot of perseverance and never giving up. Do you think if you give up on facing your fears, you will ever find a way through them? Do you think never giving up can make you stronger and more brave? Be the best teammate you can be. Be the best at being you.